everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this gift bag in the style of a handbag. It all folds flat, so you just fold in the sides there and you can store it away. And then if I just open that back up again, you just open the top here, which is sealed with a Velcro fastening, and you have a really roomy gift bag inside. It's got some nice detail here, or like faux hardware detail, and I'll show you all that through the tutorial. And then I finished it off with a pretty ribbon handle there and that bow. So let me show you how to make it. Okay so I've got all my pieces there and I'll talk through those as we go but first of all you want two pieces of 12 by 10 and a half okay and you want to score both pieces along the 12 inch side at 8 and 11 and a half and then along the 10 and a half inch side at three and a half. Okay, so both pieces like that. Now if you want them to fold flat, you'll want to have one piece, so this one here, you'll, you would have scored it three and a half along the ten and a half inch side, but you also want to score it five and a quarter, all the way down. And that will be the back, and this will allow us to fold it flat. And then along the twelve inch side, so you would have scored it eight and eleven and a half, you want to also score it nine and three quarters down to that first score line. So that's the one that you just scored before okay so that one will be the back and okay and then with this piece pop it in along the ten and a half inch side so you have that half inch tab you know at the bottom but then flip it over so now the half inch tab is at the top but it's the back side and you just want to score at five and a quarter past the first score line and down to the second okay like so and then flip it back over and then just go over it, scoring it the right way. That way it will all fold right. It's just easier to do it that way. Then pop it back along into the 12 inch side and you want to again score at nine and three quarters down to that first score line. Okay. And then you'll have all of this empty because that's the front. So you don't want that score line going through. So you'll see on this one here, the score line goes right the way through there and the side. On this one, you just want it going through the side which we've created there. Whilst we've got the scoreboard, you're also going to want a piece of eight by four and a half. Those of you that watched the Facebook Live when I made that one, this is where I said I think I'm going to do the lid a little bit different. So along the four and a half inch side, you want to score at half an inch and one inch. And we're actually going to have this half inch piece at the very top and we're going to add the handle onto it. Okay, ignore all the bits that I've stuck on. That's just to kind of keep the video short. I'll talk you through those in a moment. Okay, so now we just need to do a little bit more scoring. So I'm just grabbing my metal ruler and my stylus. And for any of you familiar with the fold flat gift bags, what we wanna do now, we've got that half inch tab here on the right hand side. And you'll see this score line that you scored down to the first one here. We now want to score within this rectangle only. Okay, so this is what we're working within. And we're gonna score from the bottom of this score line down to the bottom left corner. And then from that score line down to the bottom right make sure you stay within that rectangle there. So I'll do this one here and then I'll hold it up closer so you can see. Okay, so if I just bring that up, you can now see I've done that triangle there. Okay, repeat that on the next piece. Okay, and now we want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, then we want to do a bit of cutting. I've just done this one and I'll show you how to do it on this one here. So make sure you get your half inch tab on the right hand side and you're just going to cut up this score line and then this one here and then you're just going to remove that bit there and then just take a little wedge off of both ends there okay and now we can fold these other score lines here so what you want to do is this score line that runs down here you turn that into a valley and as you bring it down to the top of the triangle there you can kind of fold everything over. So can you see how I just, that one then just folds up on itself. Because it's, it's gonna actually be like that and that's all gonna fold in. You can see the side there, how it will all fold flat. I'll show you again on this one. So again, make sure that one's a valley. Pinch it all the way down to the top of the triangle. And it starts to, you know, kind of come up on this, this side here, this starts to kind of you know want to go upwards so just continue it just pull it over because it will naturally go along that score line and then just make sure it all lays nice and flat okay 
Now we can stick it together. So I'm just going to run some glue down the half inch tab. Doesn't matter, you know, which one you start with. And I'm going to grab this piece and just sit it over there, like so. Make sure it all lines up, okay? Okay, then flip it over, bring that side over, and run your glue all the way down that one. And then bring that one down. Again, everything should lie flat, okay? And then you'll have that one with the line that goes right through, that's the back. So bring it around like this and just lie it all down flat and now we can add these pieces. So these are optional, you might not want to do them in the same colours, you know, all in one colour like I've done, you might want to use pattern paper. But I've got this piece here which measures seven and a half by six and three quarters and this is going to stick on here but this top is going to run flush with the top of the, the bag so that you have an equal border on the sides and the bottom. Okay, and then this one is going to go on top again making sure it runs flush with the top of the bag and you will have a one inch side and bottom on that piece as well. But this one here, I think I'm gonna actually stick it using some foam so it's got a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna stick this one down right onto the bag because I'm using the cloud glue, it will really strengthen the bag and the side of it. And by the time we stick all the base down as well, that will add strength to it. I said in the live, you know, this it is a very strong bag so it's perfect for adding those heavier gifts and change the papers and and you know you can turn this into you know a bag for any kind of theme and it would be great for Christmas in some nice Christmas papers so I'm gonna lay that one down again focusing on the top there and then everything else will line up and then this one here I'm just gonna add some foam strips I didn't do this in the live I just used normal you know just use my glue but Let's try it, see what it looks like. And then just stick that one down. So now I've just got a little bit of dimension. I actually think it looks quite good. Also, the embossing folder I've used is this one. It's from the Mater Surprise, which is my collection, and it's the zigzag. And um, I just love that effect on this one. And again, on the lid here, which I will show you. Because again, although it's not a six by six bag, I just want to show you how you can use embossing folders on larger gift bags, which I've done on other tutorials as well. Now we'll put the base together. So turn it upside down. This is the front one. So I'm gonna lay the back down first and I'm gonna just add some glue all along this piece here. I like to stick my sides so they're sandwiched between the base between the back one and the front larger panels. Just gives you a nice finish inside. So then I'm just gonna stick that one and that one down. Oh, I didn't take, see it doesn't matter if you don't, but sometimes you get a little bit overhanging there. So I'm just gonna snip, to give my scissors a wipe after this, but I'm just gonna snip that away. And that's why we do it, because it just stops you getting any kind of, you know, cardstock overhanging. So now I'm just gonna add some glue over this side here and then I can just bring that over turn the whole thing upside down you can just go in now and just make sure that glue spread out okay so now we've got the base of our gift bag and it's a really nice size next we want to add the lid so this is that piece where we scored at half an inch and one just fold and burnish those score lines and then just I've just rounded off the edges there and I also done that on that piece you know you can just about make it out there now what I've also done is I've cut using that six by six embossing folder is I've just cut two sections here which are two and three quarters by three rounded off the left hand side of one and the right hand side of the other and just stuck them so you've got a nice border on the bottom the side and the top and again here the top, the side and the bottom. Don't worry about this because you're then going to need this piece and this here measures three by five and a half and then I've embossed another piece making sure I've got the nice kind of you know the zigzag point right through the middle there and that is a piece of well it's two and five eighths of an inch because I wanted to get that pattern by five and a quarter and this is going to stick onto this piece here. Now you can either have it so that this is the top, this piece here, and this is going to stick on the back, this half. You can, If you want, you can stick it so it runs flush with the top of the bag here. I'm going to have it so mine lines up with the top of this chevron pattern. So it's entirely up to you. 
So, and you want to make sure it's in the middle as well. So what I'm going to do is, you can mark with a pencil here if you want. I'm actually just going to hold it with my finger, flip it over and then I know that I need to add my glue within this section here. Okay, and then again, you want to get it right in the middle, line it up with the top there, and then just stick that down. If you want to bring in your ruler, just to measure, so it's just under two and a half. I need to come across just a little bit that way, just a smidge. So again, bang on, two and a half, yeah, and that's perfect. So I'm just gonna spend a minute making sure that's nice and secure. Okay, and then I've got this bit here. So the mirrored card, this is three by one inch and I've just rounded off the corners and then the purple piece I've stuck on top and that's three by three quarters of an inch and again I've rounded off the corners. Now this lovely little detail here is from this die set and it's this one here, I can pop it back in here now, um, I don't want to lose it. Uh, it's from the Hexagon Clutch Bag and it's by Simply Made Crafts and they're just nice little real handbag little features of like hardware. And I've also cut a few of these, which are the very tiny screw heads there. Um, and that's just for the extra little details, which I added onto here and also on the back there as well. So I'll just be popping them in. If you don't have that, it doesn't matter. You know, you can just have a square piece of mirrored card and I'll show you in a minute how you can, you know, make that little cross effect just using your school board. So you could do that on the smaller ones. And if you want to get these really tiny sizes, just use a hole punch, because they're very similar size to that. So this one here, I'm just going to add some glue all onto this piece. Because in the live, I didn't add, I said afterwards, I said, oh, I, you know, I wished I'd um, used the same embossed on the actual lid there, because I didn't do it on the other one. So, but that's like, you know, I made it from scratch live. So there was, a, it's always the way I kind of like changed my mind and, you know, wish I'd added something in, but it's always too late. So you can see the difference between the two. So that's obviously with it all embossed and that's with it plain, which, you know, some of you may prefer. Okay, now I've just realized I've sucked that down and I don't actually want to do that yet. What I want to do is add these rings because they're going to tuck ever so slightly under the very bottom one. So these here are all my little rings for the handles but to create these here it's very easy just got a small circle punch and then a slightly larger one so this one will cut a five eighths of an inch circle and I cut the circle pop the punch the circle first and then this is a one inch punch and I pop it in and I just want to make sure I get a perfect ring so just move it around a bit and then punch it and you'll get this effect Okay, and then I've done that to do the, you know, to get these rings, but if you see they're quite thick. So what I've done is inside there are four in the purple colour stuck on top of each other and then a silver one on the front and a silver one on the back. So then you've got your a very strong but little faux metal ring. So that's how you get that effect, okay? And um, you can do this with circle dies as well if you don't have any punches, but it's really handy if you can get your hands on any of the, just your basic circle, um, your basic shapes in your punches. It's just quite good. Um, it just speeds things up a little bit. So and you can find those ones are from Hobbycraft, I believe. They're still in there, but there's lots online. Places like eBay and Amazon and stuff, you probably pick some up. So, so with these ones here, I'm gonna create this chain effect coming down through the middle, completely optional. But to get that, you just wanna cut into one of them so that you can then link through. So that one there is going underneath like so, okay? And then this one, so what you wanna do is where you've cut here, you wanna have it so it's a, about four o'clock, okay? And then pop this one in, and that's gonna then sit over it and cover where you've cut it, so you wouldn't be able to see. And I think I done, how many did I do on that one there? Was it six, six or seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll see that it just tucks under that bottom one. So I'm going to carry on doing that, and as I go, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick these three down together, and then this one I can cut and feed into that one and so on until I've got them all laid down. I'm gonna use the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. It's a little bit, I've got more control with this, I think, than I do with the Kalau. So I can just really put the 
the lightest amount on there and then just pop one on the very top there as well just to kind of you know tack it into place I can use the the zigzag print you know or pattern to make sure I'm getting it like all in the center like so don't worry if you get any smudges let it dry or if you can wipe it away in time then do so but let it dry and then you can just buff it off with a piece of kitchen towel toilet paper and that will get rid of all your smears and it and make it nice and shiny again so I'm gonna just cut this one snip it there and then I can just sink that one through like so and then again go on to the next one so I'm just gonna get this finished okay and now I've just stuck that piece back so okay next I'm going to add glue on the half inch section so the most outer part there like so and then I'm going to sit this over the bag like so so now we've got this half inch kind of piece here open up the bag and you'll be able to go in there and just line up the back if I pop it on its side this way actually it's probably a bit easier for you to see but you just want to make sure that it lines up there with that bottom score line okay and now that can come over so that was one of the changes that I've made to this one from the one in the live the one in the live I just I didn't add that second score line I just done the half inch and that was it but I do like having this bit now because I can do my handle slightly differently so while that's just kind of drying there I've got these pieces here and I've got these strips here so these strips are all um, three three eighths of an inch wide and that's purely because of the size of the ring I'm using here I need it to sit through this so if your ring's slightly bigger you might be able to go wider with this piece of cardstock but it's going to go over like this and we're going to create these like little pieces to hold it in place so what I'm going to do, what I suggest for these ones here, because these are actually going to attach themselves, what we do, let's pop the Velcro closure on now, because actually we can keep it all closed shut. So these are the 16mm Velcro dots, the ones that I always really use. I'm going to pop it in the middle of that piece there, and then lay that down, make sure everything lines up. Actually that's turned into like a pocket because it's on that foam, it looks like that that's a pocket. But just push that down, if you fold the whole thing flat, you can just really push down on that. Okay, and we can open it back up again. And to fold it flat, just push your fingers on the top of the triangle pieces, and then with these fingers push against that score line and it will all lay down. Okay, but again I'm going to keep it open for the minute. But now we can work along this top piece here. So these here, if I just trim this one are going to stick onto here okay and then I'm going to have another smaller handle here and then I'm going to have a bigger handle attached to the back so there's going to be two handles on this one which is what I did think during the live but then I just changed my mind so um, this here measures in total so I'd say three inches and then folded in half on each other so each side here is one and a half and then I'm just going to with my glue just stick this together you don't have to glue all the way up there just enough to stick it together you want that to be able to move I'm probably going to trim that shorter again but that's that one and then again these rings are really strong you know you've got six layers of cardstock stuck on top of each other with a layer of cement in between so it's they're very very strong pieces okay and then what I'm going to do is just kind of fold it where it wants to kind of naturally fold you can see there just below it and then I'm going to stick that on there but I don't need that much over you know I don't need that much there so I'm just going to trim it so that I've got a half an inch there and that's what I'm going to stick onto the top there okay and I'm going to then put one of these in fact I might do that now while it's a bit easier to do so I'm just going to use a tiny little dab of the cosmic shimmer there and then I can just pick that up and sit it on top you see that nice little decoration you get and then I'm going to use this glue now and for that half inch section like so and it's up to you where you kind of want to come in here so um, let's do one and a half inches there so I'm going to pop that one down 
and then we're going to have another strip that goes through there so you won't really hold the gift bag with this one I wouldn't say you may decide you want to I'm going to have them ribbon on the bigger one so but just make sure that's nice and straight this one's more just decorative to really kind of look like a, a handbag so again I'm just going to fold that one where it kind of naturally wants to fold and then I'm going to cut that half inch that one down again about one and a half inches in from this side here and once that dries completely that's going to be really you know nice and secure then this piece here and it's kind of up to you how long you want it to be but the idea is is it's going to go underneath one side so you kind of need to sit that in and stick that down you're just going to wrap it around the top there add a bit of glue there so I'll do that I'll use this one just because it's got a quick grab so like so and then wrap it around like that again kind of give it room to move I just think it adds to the overall look makes it a little bit more authentic with it being able to kind of move and then this one's going to wrap over and then go under this one with that same kind of overhang so if I give you a rough idea of this length before I stick it down so this was six so it's eight inches by the you know again by the three eighths because of the size of the, the rings that I'm using there but again I'm just gonna wrap that one round pop a bit of glue just in there and there you've got a really nice handle and like I said you could have it like that if you want it's very very cute it's got that kind of Chanel look about it again which I really like but I am going to add the, the longer straps as well so I've got two more of those which I've stacked up and again you want to make those little kind of pieces that are going to hold it together and this is going to attach onto the back here and they're going to poke up like this either side and then the ribbon is going to be attached to that so I'm going to get those ones done again the same width the length is up to you okay so I've got those pieces I've just trimmed that one so basically you want it so that it's going to sit at the back and line up with that half inch piece there and you've just got enough of it poking out the top there so I've got kind of the bottom of the ring is sitting just above the top of the bag there and then you can just lay that one on the other one and then just you know lay down your scissors there and then you can just trim that one so at least then they're both the same and then again I'm just going to use the glue just spread that over there a little bit and it's entirely up to you where you put it I'm going to kind of have it you know kind of in the middle of this yeah it's about in the middle from here you know that in the middle of that one and a half so about three quarters of the way in and again you can see that it's just sitting nicely on there and again this one okay so now we've got this effect here so while that's drying I'm then going to bring in these pieces here so these are the the kind of excess from where I made these rings all of these here and to create the little cross I just got my embossing folder and I've got one here that I've not done and just sit it in here you know I'm using the four inches just as a little guide and sit it so you've got equal amounts hanging over you know that four inch section and just score and you could keep it just with the one if you wanted to but I'm going to do the two so pop it in there and again just pop the cross in there so now you've got those faux screws and then you've got those tiny ones if you've got that die set so all that's left to do now is I'm going to add one of these to each corner here so slightly bigger ones just there and then the small ones I'm going to add just onto these ones here and probably on there so it's like it's it's you know holding them together so I'm gonna get those all stuck down just fold it flat so it's a bit easier okay so you can see all the little details there now that I've added and then finally just to finish with the ribbon so actually I'm gonna pop it through this way because I want the join to be at the front so I'll show you the way that I'm doing this because I'm rather than tie this in a bow I find it easier to do the bow separately and stick it on so what I'm gonna do is decide on the kind of you know how um, long I want my strap to be so I think about there's fine and then I'm just going to cut this here and then using my hot glue just 
just going to run a bead of glue just along the bottom there and then sit this piece over the top and then I'm going to cover this join with the bow and that way your bow's perfect and it's just a bit easier to do I find uh, but of course if you want to do it all in one then you can now I've got my strap like so and then my bring that up a bit there that bow is now going to cover that join perfectly so I'm just going to pop again very thin bead of glue there and then just lay that over the top and it's very strong you know the hot glue with fabric works really well okay and now you've got that really pretty bow at the top there and you can move the straps if you want that bow to be you know closer to the the bottom there then you can just move everything down if you want it higher up you can do like so but I think it's just a really nice finishing touch and you can easily add a gift tag onto this if you want to and then you just open the fastening and inside you've got all that space like I said very strong it's going to hold some really nice treats yeah it's a really nice size and I'm really pleased that let me just bring in the other colour there so you can just see a slight difference with the top there so this one's just got that longer strap so you might decide to do that just don't add in that extra score line and then you'd have to work out your sizes so the measurement would be slightly different but all of this is the same there's no change there I think they both look really nice. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out all the links um, for the product that I've used below and I'll be back very soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.